okay so in this lecture let's learn the functionality of uh, shape tools if you know the system for working with these tools then you can easily build shapes so first uh, let's start with a rectangle tool and I can draw rectangles with that tool with hold the shift key I can draw scars as well as with hold alt and shift key I can draw the scars from its midpoint also uh, with hold the auto option key I can draw rectangles from its midpoint and uh, if I click on the page then I can assign width and height in these boxes and uh, then click OK to build shapes with that size okay and also you can see a tiny circle near the corners of the shapes if I select it if I drag one of them then I can smoothen the corners from all size with the same radius values let's say if I want to change the radius of this corner then uh, click to select it and then drag to adjust the radius so I can adjust only the radius of this corner likewise uh, I can select individual corners and adjust the radius okay so uh, let me undo the action and uh, keep the shape on the previous mode fine and also if I pick direct selection tool I can add the corner radius with specific values from here so if you scroll up or scroll down inside the box you can increase or decrease the values or you can type the values inside this box let's say if you want to adjust the individual corners then select it then adjust the value from here fine also uh, with the selection tool I can reposition the element and uh, as well as with these handles I can resize the elements while resizing if I hold the shift key I can maintain the height and width ratio of the element and uh, as well as with hold the alt and shift key I can resize the element from its midpoint in the meantime I can constrain the ratio value also if I toggle to the transform panel this is what called reference point locator so a center point is connecting the midpoint of the element and top left corner point is connecting this point of this element and top right corner point is connecting this point likewise bottom left point connecting this anchor and bottom right point is connecting this anchor left and right midpoints are connecting these anchors and uh, top and bottom midpoints are connecting these anchors so uh, let's say if I want to reposition the element from its center point with a specific value then activate the midpoint here and change the values in X and Y location boxes so uh, X locator is positioning the element in the document horizontally and uh, Y locator is positioning the element in the document vertically let's say if I want to centralize the element exactly in the middle of the document from its midpoint uh, then uh, make sure midpoint is active here 
and type 148.5 mm in Xbox and type 105 mm in Y box and tap enter key. So guys, you must divide the height and width of the document by 2 for define the center point of the document. So if I tap Ctrl N, uh, you can remember we created the A4 size document and its height is 210 millimeters. So I divided it by 2, then it's 105 millimeters and with this 297 millimeter so i divided it by 2 then it's 148.5 millimeter that's why i typed here those values and as well as from here you can change the width and height of the element and uh, if you turn on this link you can constrain the width and height proportions so if i change the value in width box then a height value is automatically changed according to the proportion as well as if i change the values in height box then width is refined proportionally also from here you can rotate the element currently it's rotating from its midpoint as the reference point is active in middle here if I change the reference point, uh, then I can rotate from that point. Okay, so let me set it to zero value and uh, and guys also with the selection tool, I can rotate the elements manually. If I hold the shift key, I can rotate with 45 degrees each time. Okay, fine. Also, uh, under the rectangle properties, uh, you can try with these values as here. And uh, from here, I can refine the corner radius. So if I change the value, you can see corners are converting to the smooth corners. If I turn off the link here, I can adjust them individually. And as well as in here, scale corner and scale stroke and effect options are turned on. To explain that, first let me adjust the corners from here and uh, set the stroke weight to 1 pt and now if i increase the size of the element then stroke weight and corner radius also proportionally increase depends on the element size so in here you can see stroke weight is changed right and uh, if I reduce the size, then those values also reduced symmetrically. So always uh, better to keep turn on these both option. Okay. Also, if I toggle to the stroke panel, from here also I can customize the line weight. And uh, if I turned on the uh, dashed line option, then I can convert the stroke into dashed line as well as uh, I can assign different values in these boxes to refine gaps between dashes so uh, you can play with these options to create nice border effects okay okay so uh, let me set it to default mood fine and also there are some few more options let's focus on these options while we developing vectors by upcoming lessons 
as well as if I open more options from the option menu then from here I can add arrow heads to the lines for example uh, with the line tool if I draw a line then I can add different styles of start and end arrow heads and uh, as well as from here you can fill solid colors and uh, from here you can apply colors to the borders or lines and uh, from here I can play with variable width uh, profiles to the strokes And uh, as well as from this option, I can play with different style of brush definitions. So uh, you can use these options to build nice stroke styles. And also, uh, there are few more options. Let's discuss about them while working on some real world design via upcoming lessons. Okay, so uh, now if I right click the rectangle tool, there are a few more tools in the preset like rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, so on. So guys, uh, let's try with those tools as well. And just to follow the same steps as I explained for the rectangle tool like rotating, resizing, positioning and uh, transforming with these options. Uh, when you're drawing shapes with these tools okay now uh, you got the basic theory and then let's move to build some elements like these 